Hello there, my name is Manuela and uh, we will discuss uh, the removal of pesticide metabolites now um, from drinking water with a special focus on DMS in Denmark. Um, in Denmark, we have a drinking water production that is based on groundwater and uh, pesticides were detected in 51% of our abstraction wells and DMS in 35% of them. Uh, we only have a very simple water treatment train based on aeration and rapid sand filtration. And that's why we have problems removing those pesticide metabolites uh, as it's simply not designed for it. Uh, we also have a very low parametric value for DMS and our authorities are very cautious about implementing new technologies. Um, and that's why we require a lot of research to get this allowance. And my PhD project is trying to provide this knowledge and investigates uh, the DMS removal efficiency, as well as um, evaluate some technologies according to selected parameters. Let's jump right into some uh, of the results we have so far. Um, we start with uh, granular activated carbon. We did an adsorption isotherm um, experiment uh, and a full scale um, documentation of the breakthrough together with the breakthrough model. Uh, the outcome, well, we found out that yes, um, DMS can be removed by activated carbon, but only at very low KD values. And that means that it's very expensive uh, to clean DMS uh, uh, from drinking water with activated carbon compared to other metabolites. What about um, the next technology, advanced oxidation with uh, a medium pressure UV lamp and uh, hydrogen peroxide. Well, we uh, had a setup with and without uh, biologically activated carbon filters uh, as post-treatment. Um, and yes, again, the outcome, DMS can be removed, but it requires more energy compared to other metabolites. And uh, we also detected some byproducts uh, of which we so far only have documented nitrite to be uh, removed by uh, the back treatment afterwards. Um, so we have to check if we come below the parametric value with the other byproducts. And we also found some non-target uh, analysis uh, um, compounds, um, which we have to check uh, if there's health risks uh, related with uh, those 12 transformation products after the back filtration. And this was it from my side so far. Um, thank you for your attention. And I really hope you come uh, visit me at my poster so that we can discuss a bit more about uh, pesticide metabolite removal uh, from drinking water. Thank you for your attention.